Hey guys, welcome to tonight's BB Can 9 episode chat. Episode 2, in fact. It's eviction night, baby. I got my tiny gold hat on. <laughs> it's episode 2, eviction night. I believe it. Canada pulls this all the time. They always do this, pretty much. Smoke them if you got them. Alright, so last time Team Destiny won the team challenge. Now, if you didn't watch the premiere, you're probably like, who the hell is Team Destiny? <laughs> so just a quick reminder. Yeah. Canada has split up the house guests into two teams this season. Team Destiny and Team Defender. The other one. <laughs> Defender. Defender. Yeah, so and it Canada. Was brutal. It was a brutal schoolyard pick. Yeah, well, Canada voted for two team captains, Tina and Kiefer. And then they did a schoolyard pick. Those schoolyard picks, to determine man. the teams. The pain never ends, does it? From school till now. You get through high school and you think, I'm done. I'm never going to be in a schoolyard pick ever again. Oh, you are. You mm. are. All right. Well, there's uh, six people to pick from. That yeah. Are, one of them is going home. Jedson, Josh, Latoya, Julie... Rohan mm -hmm. <laughs> and Brayden. Yes, yeah, so there's no POV this week, so it's just the losing team. And everybody, no HOH. everybody except for Kiefer, the team captain, is up for eviction. Right. So that's pretty wild. And everybody's voting except for Tina. Yeah, Unless Tina's only voting. Yeah, if there's yeah. a tie. And there's no live audience. That's because of COVID, though. Yeah, and poor Arissa. Uh, you know, when you're a presenter, you really feed off of a live audience. You really I feel look like she's for killing that. it, though. She is really doing a great job, but it's it's difficult. Especially, like, putting this season together. I'm so glad yeah. that Arissa is part of the production team now. Yeah, for sure. All right, so Kiefer's feeling pretty guilty. His team lost. But he's safe. But he's safe, mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, but he still have, had to eat slop. They're gonna have to eat slop just yeah. for the night. But still, like, oof, that's a that's a rough start to the season. We'll get there though. All right. Well, Brayden and Julie are already already talking about who they want to send home. Mm -hmm. And the name that comes up already is Josh. Uh oh. Because <laughs> yeah. they, they were both on the losing team, and they're trying to think, how are we going to strengthen our team? Because this twist get is rid gonna of be the weak link. This Elite twist is going to be around for a while, so yeah, they need to make sure that they're going to be able to win competition. So they're figuring Josh was like one of the first ones out. Well, they can't name each other really, so they're going to have to. Well, they did better in the challenge than Josh did. <laughs> yes, but they did better in the challenge than Josh did. Who's going to be a better player in the end? I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. All right. Well, Tashawn and Jed. Jed's son. Mm -hmm. uh, they want an alliance with Latoya. Yeah. Because this is going to be like the strong alliance. We already saw that they connected on the first episode. They said undercover brothers. And now Even they want... they're on different teams. Yeah. They want Latoya to join them because she is strong. And I'm already like, yes, this is exciting. But as this episode went on, I was just like... Mm. About Latoya. Like, Latoya was really rubbing me the wrong way, which yeah. sucks. Because she was... One of my top favorites. Too good for the from show. Before, from the preseason. Yeah. But I don't know yet. I don't know. What I saw tonight, I was like, I don't know about this. All right. Well, let's talk about slop time. Okay. <laughs> slop time for Team Defender. Gag Central. Brayden ate it like this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have dessert after, bud. Yeah, he was not feeling it. And you know Canada makes their slop extra nursery. Why is it freaking green? I don't know. What is in there? It looks so much worse Spinach than US, or... sli US slop, though. Uh, Jed was okay with it. He was like, yeah, it ain't worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, a couple of people were really chowing down on it, but Brayden was like, no. No way I could eat that. No way. No way. No way. No. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Team Destiny was getting ready to have their reward meal. Salad! Victoria <laughs> cracks me up. Victoria. Yeah, I said Victoria. Or that you said Latoya. No, I said Victoria. <laughs> she cracks me up. She does. Uh, I guess they probably asked them, like, on their preference sheets, like they're on a freaking super yacht. What they wanted to eat, like if there was a reward or. If I wonder if this know. was a skip the dishes thing, but they didn't mention that it was from them, and you so think probably they would not because that would have been yeah. all over it. Yeah, right. 
but they at least got something that I would have eaten. Salad! I'm sure, I think there was other stuff too, but salad was the first thing that she noticed. I think they probably each got their own little Maybe. thing. Maybe. Could be. You know? Yeah, there were a bunch you know, of containers COVID. in there. They're not uh, gonna, that's a good point. Yeah. But they're in a bubble. Yeah, but... I don't know. Whatevs. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> I'm not going to dissect this meal right now. In the bathroom... There was Tina, Victoria taking a shower, who couldn't believe she was in the in They the, were all uh, like, oh my god, we're in the Big Brother house. And Beth. And they were talking Alliance. Yeah, they're all on the same team. They're vibing. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we should form something. This feels good. We should force Victoria to drop her towel. Well, <laughs> she was like, wait a second. Like, this is an important conversation. I need to get my microphone. So she, like, busts out of the shower. And then she's like, oh, wait. I'm naked. And they... Lost it. They were all laughing so it's hard. Hilarious. Good thing the feeds weren't on yet. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good thing. Yeah. Oh, all right. Man. So Latoya is joining the alliance with Jed and Tashan. Yeah, I think they were in the Expedia room, right? Talking some game. And the name that they're throwing out is Julie's. Whoa. Okay. That's a new name. I mean, yeah, we've only really heard Josh up to this point. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Julie. And Brayden and Austin have a little mini alliance mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, Canada actually uh, dropped this clip before the show aired tonight. So we had already seen this. And I was like, oh my god, I love this alliance. These three are great. The dolls, the they're dolls. calling themselves. They got some Charlie, Charlie's Angel shit going on there. It was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was nervous, though, because they were really, like... Obvious? Yeah. Not really trying to hide it. I mean, they're posing and... Having a mother effing the walk off in front it, yeah. of the front door. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They're making duck faces. <laughs> All right, so. But I like what they're putting out there. Yeah, it was fun. I like this group together. And isn't this show about having a good time? <laughs> I'd like to have a good time here. I do, too. All right, so in the Team Destiny room, mm -hmm. we had a mini meeting. I'm not sure I don't if they were all in there, there, but like a bunch of them were in there. Well, there was the third name being thrown out, and that was Rohan. Yeah, they were like, shouldn't we try and like maybe talk about who's going to go this week? Shouldn't we try and weaken the other team by taking out a strong player? Yeah, That's what Rohan I was the last one standing from his team, so... And you know what? We have uh, just as many people as they have voting, and if there's a tie... Tina's going to break the tie in well, our they favor. Well, they have one less person because Tina is only voting if there's a tie. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's close. So it is close. They could have a huge impact on the vote. Okay, so here was the serious part of the episode where they were playing Never Have I Ever. And, uh... You know what I love about BB Can? I mean, I love a lot there. of things. They're like Degrassi. They really put in the effort to have, like, the human interest segments... Mm -hmm. And show people, like, learning from others mm -hmm. about different cultures and, yeah. you know. Yeah, I do enjoy that a lot. I wish uh, BBUS was more like that. Mm -hmm. So they were talking, I don't, I don't remember how it came around to, I think, did you ever make out with a guy, blah, blah, blah. So, yes. Uh, and Josh, they were talking about, oh, was it Josh that, no, somebody, I can't remember who Josh asked. Josh and Julie uh, told their coming out story. Somebody was asking, like, do you, like, if you guys feel comfortable, would you share your right. coming out stories? Right. So Josh's was pretty much like, yeah, I came out to my mom and my stepdad, and this is the guy I'm dating. And they mm -hmm. were like, okay. <laughs> and then uh, I felt really, I was like tearing up for Julie. Because Julie didn't have one coming out story. She had two coming mm -hmm. out stories. One, as a young kid, coming out as gay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one coming out as transgender. Yeah, she was talking about how she didn't even know what transgender right. was until later in life. And then um, she always knew that like there was something different about her. She felt right. like she was in the wrong girl. body. Yeah, so yeah. I'm really glad that she's living her truth now and she's sharing her journey with other people. I think that's really going to help a lot of people who may I'm be I'm glad that she was able to struggling. make it happen. Yeah. Because I think she had it done fairly early. Like, Well, she said she was saving up all through high school. Yeah. And then she said she got surgery at, like, age 19, right? Mm -hmm. So. I've seen, like, a lot of uh, transgender type um, transitions, for lack of a better word, up from Canada. 
And I think the health system up there is a lot better than ours in terms of yeah. that. So I've seen like a lot of uh, people have it done younger than they would in the United States. So Could be. that's pretty awesome because um, it must suck not to be who you think you are. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Not to be in the body that you think you are. So, good for her. Um, and then, Brayden was like, yeah, it wasn't a big deal for me because it was pretty obvious. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then Latoya came out right on the show as yeah. bi. But she I said, like, her, her family and friends... New, new, but, but she wasn't like right. out publicly, right? So good for her. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, it was really great to see them all getting to know each other mm -hmm. and learning about each other's getting lives. Getting to know you, yep. getting to know all about you, exactly. Especially Kiefer, <laughs> he shared his native tongue. This was amazing. This was really cool. Yes, I've never uh, heard any, like, real First Nation uh, language Yeah, well, spoken. he said only, like, five people in his town speak this right. language still because it's just so difficult to yeah. learn. It's It sounded, number one, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Number two, hard as hell. He said it was, like, the hardest language to learn and, I belie and speak. I believe it. I believe it, yeah, because it was, it's, it like, was nothing that I've ever to, heard though. before. And uh, I think he did some sort of thing, um, like some rhyme or poem or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, from his culture, which was amazing. Yeah. And everybody was just like, oh, I love it. <laughs> and I did. Yeah. And I did. So that was cool. And But then let's get back to the game. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Josh and Julie. Oh, boy. This is where it starts getting really this, messy. It starts deteriorating from here. Josh tells Julie that there's a bro alliance. He's like, and you know what? We got another pretty boys alliance forming here. That's a dirty word in, mm -hmm. <laughs> in this uh, fandom. Yeah. And we should be getting rid of Rohan. Yeah, because he's like, look at Rohan, Judson, mm -hmm. Tishan. Right. Um, was there another guy? Oh, um, Kyle, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Kyle yeah, was in there. probably. Kyle's in that mix. So we can't just let these big physical threats come together and take all of us out. We can't let mm -hmm. that happen again. So Josh was definitely trying to get the target off of himself. Right. But, but Julie... He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. But Julie, no. You don't go and talk to a mixed group of people and say that there's a boys alliance yeah i mean she was talking to people from both teams and <laughs> i don't know playing too hard too loose too sloppy yeah. big mistake big mistake to tell latoya in that group uh-oh hot dog and latoya now was like well i was right because latoya said julie was gonna have a big mouth and she can't be trusted right all right well <laughs> The winning team, Tara and Tina, say, also, let's get rid of Rohan. Yeah, well, I just wanted to mention that they were on the winning team so right. we could get the perspective of, like, who they would be targeting. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't want to get rid of Josh because he's a meat shield in front of us. Yeah, I mean, people are going to be talking about him. He's not really aligned with anybody. He's kind of outside of all the cliques right. that are starting to form. So let's just keep him around as a target and take out Rohan. Mm -hmm. um, because that's going to weaken the other team. Right. So, Josh and Julie, talking again, talking about that four-person bro, bro lions, yeah. and Josh tells Julie that somebody had her name in their mouth. And it was LaToya. And he's not wrong. LaToya was saying yeah. that they should get rid of Julie. And Julie can't believe it. She's Julie freaking shook it. is, yeah, she freaking out, goes and confronts LaToya. Oh, I'm no. sorry. When somebody's got your name in their mouth, File the it away, baby. person you go to is them. I mean, it depends on the situation. If you're working with that person, might be a different story. Right. But I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but then it gets even worse. I think that was a dumb move on Julie's part. 
But even worse, maybe. Worser? I don't know. <laughs> Latoya's response was like, I'm done with this. Like, I'm not. I'm going to the hot tub. I'm not talking about this. I'm done with this. But, like, it was wild because earlier in the episode, she was talking about how she wanted this game to get going. Yeah. And then the game approaches her and she's just like, nah. Guilty, not doing it. I'm guilty, over it. guilty. Yeah, that was really bad that she wasn't just like, I didn't say that. Or maybe, like, I did, but I, I didn't know you yeah. yet. Or, like, something like that. Yeah. But to just, like, not address it at Bye. all. <laughs> that was bad. And Julie was like, nobody talks to Julie like that. All right. Well. Yikes. It's time for the live eviction on the show. And by live, live. we mean <laughs> not really. Uh, no spoilers this episode, though. We usually have spoilers going into a, an eviction for Canada because mm-hmm. they're filmed in advance, but because there's no live right. audience. No spoilers. It's kind of fun, though, Sorry. not knowing. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I, when I'm trying to eat dinner and take notes, mm. it's not that fun. Yeah. All right, so team this, this, was, this was fun. I like this. Instead of having... All six of the, yeah, all six of the people who were up for eviction do, like, a, a speech. hmm They had a little Q&A. That was fun. Submitted by the other, the, the winning others. team. The others. Team Destiny. They got to submit questions unanimously, or, unanimously, anonymously. Right. And uh, Arissa read them to whichever house kids they were for. Right. So, for Brayden, uh, his question we saw uh, you making close connections. Is that going to make you a target? And he was like, nope, just having a good time. The dolls. <laughs> <laughs> um, Judson, they were asking, like, how important do you think it is to have a final two in this game? And he was like, yeah, I think it is important, but not yet. Like, it's too early. I don't have a final two. Sure. I have a final four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Judson... We no, that was just Jetson. All right, <laughs> never mind. Rohan, uh, you're a possible target. How does that make you feel? And he's Great. Like, <laughs> I'm easy, of course. Yeah. But uh, I made some connections, and I'm not so worried. Okay. Uh, Josh, was this, like, part of your agenda to say that there was a guy's alliance forming? And he said, nope, just paranoia. <laughs> was like, everybody else was giving these like longer Long. answers with more of explanation behind yeah. it but he was just like nope just paranoia <laughs> i really like josh I think josh is different he's fun i enjoy that he's not the type of person that we usually see on this show like even just his diary yeah. rooms feel so different they feel more like i don't give a crap about this i feel I'm like be truthful josh is really in his own head, and really, like, neurotic. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety going on there. Do you think he's the number four on the... I don't uh, know. I don't uh, know what his... What is it? Enneagram? Yeah, something like that. I don't that. know. All right. Well, LaToya... Um, Ooh! Were you talking about Julie? <laughs> yes, but I talked about everyone. I keep it real. I was feeling out everyone. Okay, and then Julie's question. I wonder who asked that question for the. I don't know. I don't know. The question for Julie. Who do you think? Sorry. (laughs) Who do you think is uh, the weakest person on your team? The weakest link. And she said Josh. Whoa. She said he's emotional. Whoa. That was surprising to me. Well, who do you think she would say? I guess she didn't have any other choice because she is kind of like in an alliance. With Raiden. I think she also figured, like, it's probably me and Josh that are the two main targets here. Right. So let me uh, throw some not respect on his name. I can only imagine. Last ditch effort. Yeah. I can only imagine how many conversations were going on this week, like game conversations. Because, like, we only got to see a little sliver. You know what? Of what went down. I'm so glad we didn't have to weed through that. (laughs) I know, but you missed out on a lot of really good stuff in the first week. Yeah, but it's it's just like the same thing 10 million times, and you have to check it all. I so. have to say, the last few seasons with that, where we have, been, or like any time that we have been able to see mm-hmm. the first week, I guess that was only like one time, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Even the second week, it's so exhausting trying it to is. keep up with all these BS fake alliances that mm-hmm. they form in the first week. Yeah. But anyway, well, it's time for the vote. Let's cut to the vote. Here are the... Hashtag choices, like Tatiana from Drag Drag Race. Race. (laughs) Choices. 
Yes. It's either going to be Julie, Rohan, Brayden, Josh, Jensen, or LaToya going tonight. How many times did Arissa say, it's going to be the vote, but it's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before? I mean, it was really different with everyone voting, except for Tina. Mm -hmm. Like, seeing the nominees voting, it was weird. I kind of wish it would stay like that. I don't know. I like but it I for it now, but I don't want it forever. <laughs> but um, basically everyone, except for Julie and Victoria, voted for Julie to go. When Austin was the first one to vote, and she voted for Julie, I was like, wait a minute, aren't you in the dolls with her? <laughs> okay, rest in peace, the dolls. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Woo, that was short-lived, but I guess... This early on, if the rest of the house is going for... You gotta vote with the house, right? I guess. Unless I'm, it's a close vote. I'm really surprised the other side of the house didn't try and drum up some... Uh, so go for a stronger player. Yeah. But yeah, um, Victoria and Julie both voted for Josh to go, if you're curious. but You know what? I guess they couldn't really get a strong player out because we already have a big, a big guys alienced. So they were probably like, yeah, yeah like, let's, put let's the kibosh keep each other on safe. That. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was probably part of it, which yeah. is like, oh, already. But we'll see what happens. But it seemed like Julie knew she was going. She seemed okay with it. She seemed yeah. to have accepted it already. And on her way out, she said, Queen p- can't play with commoners. She okay. left uh, with, with class she and did. style. She did. I enjoyed that. And I mean,. It didn't feel, like, mean. It felt fun. No, if it was fun. Yeah, and I liked she got it. to tell her story, which was great. Yeah. I just wish we could have seen more of Julie. I wish she wouldn't have played. Uh, she played too hard, too fast. She played herself. Yeah. Mm. So then Julie had her interview with Arissa. It's so weird seeing Julie and Arissa, like, the two names together, because I keep thinking... Julie Chen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's Julie Chen Moonvez. Um, yeah, but anyway... Arissa's following the Julie Chen Moonves rules of you wear a mask and I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like Arissa should wear a mask too, but... I think they probably should have both, but whatever. Yeah. All right, so... We determined that Julie was too bubbly, but too weak. She said that herself, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Yes, we determined it because that's what Julie said. But she's happy that she was able to share her story, and Arissa was asking, what would you have done differently... She said she would have fought harder. Yeah. All right, well, sorry, Julie. It doesn't seem like somebody's coming back because Arissa didn't say, hey, there might be a chance for you to get back in the but game. it could still be. I don't know. Sometimes they don't say. Well, I think the real tell will be uh, Julie's Twitter. Mm. <laughs> will, is Julie, tw- you know, going to be tweeting? We'll, yeah. we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, so... Live feeds start tonight. In fact, they're on right now. They're already on. <laughs> um, Which means the first spoiler video will be tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, and I just wanted to let you guys know, we're just going to do these the old way where I just shoot a video and then mm-hmm. upload it instead of doing the live chats because it's just how it's going to work out this season. Like yeah. we, can't, we can't be doing the live chats this season, unfortunately. Right. I mean, we'll see how it plays out. But as of right now, we're planning on just uploading a video. So mm-hmm. I hope you guys still enjoy it. It's going to be fun. Will. It's going to be fun. I think they will. All right. Well, the next show is Monday mm-hmm. at 9 p.m. Yeah. So I'll see you then. You'll see her tomorrow. Yeah. They didn't show the HOH competition. Right. On tonight's episode, that's going to be on Monday. But if you guys want to find out before then, make sure you check out the spoilers. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no, it's going to be Don't fun. sound so thrilled. I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, were you surprised by the eviction? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.